Today we're going to be debunking myths about dominant dogs. And believe it or not, even dogs like little Alfred here can be dominant dogs if the situation is right. And that's what I want to convey to you is that dominance is a situational behavior. Dogs aren't dominant all the time, but in certain situations, like maybe another dog is around, they will act dominantly. Or maybe they've got some food that they'd like to protect and they'll act dominantly then. What I want to teach you today is how to deal with a dog if he's acting dominantly. The first step is, don't ever use a forceful technique. If a dog is acting dominantly, he's feeling extra jazzed up about whatever it is that's going on. If you come in and you do things like an alpha roll where you hold the dog under the ground until he stops struggling, or try to use a forceful method, a lot of times you're gonna get bit. Instead of using dominant techniques on a dominant dog that seem aggressive, what I like to do is get out a treat, make the dog sit, and take control of the situation in a non-threatening way. Anytime that you can prove that you're on the top of the pecking order in a non-threatening way, your dog's gonna reciprocate that very nicely. The other thing I love to do is called nothing in life is free. What nothing in life is free is, is asking the dog to say please before he does anything that he wants. That can be taking a walk, it can be coming and sitting on the couch, it can be having a bowl of food. How you make your dog say please is asking him to sit or asking him for a trick. For example, let's say your dog wants to come up on the couch. Before he comes up on the couch, the dog has to sit in front of you, give you a paw, do a little trick, and then you invite him up. You've controlled the whole situation and he had to say please very politely for it. So those are some great tactics to deal with dogs who are acting dominantly. I'm Nicole Rocco from Philly Unleashed, and we'll see you next time.